Okay, we're going to talk about programming the RS-507. Here's the manual for reference if you need it. Um, this is the RS-507 itself, the battery. This is the Bluetooth device that we use to communicate between this and our software. This is a packet of instructions on what I'm about to show you, as well as the barcodes that are needed to properly program the RS-507. So, first off, we're going to set it to factory default. And the way you do that is on the side, there's a small button here. Okay, as you put the battery in, you're go you will be already holding this button and not the yellow button as you put the battery in. It will begin to boot, some lights will flash, you'll hear some noises. After that's done, you continue holding for a few more seconds, about five. Then we'll pull the battery out twice, put it back in. So I go ahead and press it down, take my battery, put it in. So there's some red lights, green lights, some beeps. It says booted. I'm still holding over here with my thumb. Okay, that's about five seconds. So I'm going to let go. Without pressing the yellow button, and pull out the battery, put it back in two times. Each time you'll see red lights and a beep. That means it's booted up. Do it one more time. Now we're back to factory defaults. There's our laser, if you can see it. Press the yellow button so it goes away. And these are 10 digit barcodes. And for example, now that we're defaults, this isn't programmed, I should not be able to scan these. And I cannot. So we have to program this. The way we do that is you start on the second sheet and you're going to scan top to bottom, left to right. So this column, then this one. This one, this one, this one, this one, and then the last SPP barcode. Um, the most important is this first page because this is usually where people mess up. And if you mess up, the best thing is to do is go back, scan the factory defaults, and start over. So what we'll do is we'll scan that. You heard that sound, that, that high-pitched, that multiple beeps, that's, that's a good sound. That's a good sound, that quick high pitch. That's good. That one's good. That one's good. Now I'm gonna scan it again just, to sh just so you can hear what a bad one sounds like. That, that long, slow pitch one um, is not good. So if you hear that, the easiest thing to do is just start over. There we go, we're back at I scanned the zero twice, thus I messed it up. Set it back to default, so start over. What you can do, when you're scanning these, if you have trouble, you can move the scanner in and out, and left to right. So. Sounds good. We go top to bottom, left to right. See I'm having to come out. Now this one discrete length, this is where you're gonna set up uh, how many numbers are on your barcode. In this case, we have 10 digits. So we need a one and a zero. Other customers will have a one and a two for 12 digits. Okay, this last barcode, serial port protocol, that's what's used to work with a Bluetooth device. You can really scan this whenever you want, doesn't really matter, but you have to scan it. Now we're done. So now, 
pull the battery out, we're gonna, without pressing any of the buttons, we're going to do this twice. There's the red light. There's our beep. It's booted up. We'll do it one more time. Now, after this is done, I should be able to scan this 10-digit barcode over here. So, let's see what happens. The light came on. Press the yellow button. Turn it off. And there we go, now I can scan them. Those long beeps are not good, but they're not good for a different reason because right now we're not connected to this and to the software. Um, if we were, and it was a success, successful decode, you would hear a quick beep because it was su successfully decoded there. So that's about it. Um, got any questions, give us a call. Thanks.